All right, so what was the week like? Uh, how'd it go? What'd you concentrate on? Oh, school. So the week started with school. Um, we got a couple of guys some rest, actually. Um, a couple injuries with the flu we were battling, so we got through some of that, and uh, we just focused on the things that have been, you know, problems for us. Turning the ball over, free throws, um, you know, getting a little more consistency out of everybody. And, uh, you know, we're playing another, you know, good team. Every team in this league is very good. Uh, they have two of the best guards, dynamic guards, so we have our headaches there, and, and our guards will have a full day tomorrow uh, chasing them around. So um, I thought we got better. Uh, again, and I thought we got healthy. Uh, Luis was sprained his ankle yesterday in practice, so I don't know where he is, but uh, everyone else is ready to go. Okay. I don't know if you uh, break down the schedule in like many blocks or whatever, but I guess you're a third way through six games. What have you learned about uh, your team through six games? Big uh, we're consistently inconsistent. That's what I probably have learned. Um, the league is unbelievable. You know, going on the road is a double challenge, and we've played a lot of road games. Um, just the rosters. I mean, what teams are bringing off the bench? You know, for players, the depth, uh, the terrific coaching. Um, you know, but I also like signs that we've improved a lot, even though our record doesn't show it. We've gotten better. Um, we out rebounded the team the other night, hadn't been out rebounded all year long by plus nine on the road. I think our defense is, is good when we play five on five. Um, I just think we continue to turn the ball over um, and, and give up easy points. So. Um, you know, trying to solve some of those problems, uh, you know, with our team as we continue to grow. I think Corey's been been great. His growth has been tremendous in the last three, four weeks. Um, you know, and we've just got to get more consistent efforts out of everybody. You know, one night uh, Deshaun looks like an all-league guy, and then the, the next night uh, doesn't play as well. Um, and not just him, every guy, you know, every guy in the roster has to be more consistent and, uh, you know, trying to make sure that that happens moving forward here. Steve, Corey's growth, how much of that has been on the defensive end the last couple of games? A, a ton of it has, but it's been on both ends. I mean, his percentages are up in, in every year. He's practicing better. He's doing a great job in film prep. Um, you know, he's really grown, so I'm real pleased. And, and you can tell by the by the numbers in a, in a great league. His numbers are way up in, in a great league, and everyone's trying to stop him. So I'm uh, real pleased with Corey. As we uh, go into the second half of the season, Steve, could you assess the progress of your freshmen? Uh, you know, Issa was starting at one time. Eugene is now. Yeah. You know, I think the typical freshmen, you know, it's a long year, and I think they're going through some ups and downs, and um, they realize how good everybody is, how well prepared you have to be. Practices are tough for them. Um, but they show signs, you know, they show signs. And, uh, you know, like any freshman, you, know, you never really want to count on your freshman as a coach. Uh, I always look at freshmen as their bonus. You know, if they're good, their bonuses. But the year's a long year for them. It's a learning experience. Um, you know, I think they're getting through a typical freshman year. Can I ask you about the two guys individually, Eugene first? What you've seen in him that keeps him in the lineup? Uh, well, I mean, I love his toughness. And that's what keeps him in, in, in the lineup. Um, I think he's, you know, has a chance to be one of our better passers, and obviously uh, we're not a great passing team, um, but he continues to work. I think he's a good rebounder, uh, but really, you, you know, his toughness and his ability to get better, uh, uh, you know, has, has I think really helped our team in, in a lot of ways. And I think his best days are ahead of him too, as he keeps figuring it out. And then Issa, you know, he's a shooter. His body's starting to break down a little bit, <clears throat> but. Uh, you know, and he hasn't been, you know, as consistent, obviously, shooting the ball. I don't think we help him in those areas either. Doing a great job getting the ball when he's open in his shooting pocket. We struggle to get the ball to him at the right times where he can shoot it. Um, but, I mean, he shows some signs, too. And again, you know, I think like any freshman, he goes to a, a lot with the body. Um, it's a real physical league, and it's a, it's a real long year. Does he need to gain weight? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, How much? Obviously, do you think? 100 pounds. You got, 100, <laughs> you got 150 on your uh, thing. No, I mean he obviously needs to get stronger and, and gain weight. But he needs to go through a freshman year like this too to, to make sure he knows where he has to improve his ball handling, his passing the real physical league, and he's finding that out. Is the league tougher than you thought, or is this what you expected for the Big Ten? No, great league. I mean, I knew it'd be great. Um, every team is. You know, terrific as you can see, and challenges us in a lot of different ways. Really good coaching uh, from top to bottom. They say this is the best the league's been, you know, in, in a while from one to fourteen. So uh, when coach told me I picked a tough year to get in, into the league, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. I knew I knew it'd be difficult, and they picked us fourteenth, and, and uh, we're getting better. So uh, we'll keep fighting, and 
we'll keep defending and we'll keep rebounding hopefully and and you know one of these days we're going to really take care of the basketball and get get some good shots up and we've been in we've been in every game I feel comfortable saying that even though the final score doesn't indicate it sometimes but we've been we've been hanging around and if we can make some timely shots or not turn the ball over Time we play is to make it a little bit more interesting. Free throw shooting, how do you? Yeah, I mean, we're doing a ton of that too. I think that goes side to side. I mean, very rarely have I been around a team that shoots threes and makes threes that, you know, uh, you know doesn't make free throws. We're obviously not a great shooting team. That's been one of our Achilles for a couple of years now. Um, doing more of it, emphasizing it different ways. Um, got to get tougher. I mean, a lot of that's toughness. You got to step up to the line and, and make free throws. Um, you know, and it's everybody too. It's not just one person. So, um, you know, sometimes it's easy to solve a problem when, when only one guy's turning it over or when one guy, you know, but it's a, it's a team thing and we, we got to obviously do better in that area because we're leaving a lot of points on the board. Is Steve, the, a little, go ahead, Taylor. I was going to say, is, is the flu still a concern or have you guys been able to move past that? No, know, I mean, I think we, we, we've just, everyone's had it at different times. That's what I mean. You think, you think it's over or is it still a concern? I, I mean, I, you know, I hope so. I hope so. That'd be <laughs> great, but I don't know. You'll have to talk to our medical people about that, but I'm hoping... You know, everyone's had it at different times, and you know they seem to have you know gotten through it. But like, probably like every team in America, it's a long year, and it's that time of the year. You talk about the consistency in the league, top to bottom. Everyone, it's one of the best years. Like Nebraska, for example, started three zero. They come in here three and three. Uh, they also Ohio State was zero and six before playing them. Does that kind of show that anyone can win any given night on the stage? Well, I mean, you know, it shows you how good the league is, and uh, you know, Nebraska is a team I've watched all their tapes now, and. Uh, it just pose many problems. They got two dynamic guards. I mean, dynamic is as good of guards as there are in uh, Power Five conferences. Only one of the team, Georgia, has a, uh, two guards. You know, uh, averaging more points. So, uh, pose many problems. You got to play great every night in this league. Um, Nebraska has beaten some great teams, and um, you know, the other night they took a tough one. You know, but that was a very winnable game for them too. So. Well coached, another program. Well coached with good players, and, and going to pose us many problems. We're going to have to play really well, and uh, we're going to have to deserve to win. We've talked a lot about that with our team. Now, you, you know, everyone wants to win. Now, do you deserve to win? If you do, you stop with the pick sixes, you make some free throws, and you do a better job on the defensive end. And uh, you know, you got to deserve to win against really good teams. And we haven't yet, but uh, any one on any given night, you got to play in this league for sure.